Sup lads, um, thought I would make a quick little video. Um, it's one of the first life lessons that I learned. Um, might as well just share a little bit of it. Um, and it's just about toxic people, or more specifically toxic environments. Um, this can range from anything, like it doesn't even have to be people, but it could be, you know, certain things, you know, substances or foods or, you know, just anything that's bad, really. Because uh, no matter like what, what environment you're in, you will end up becoming a product of it without even realizing it most most of the time. Um, and even if you are like, le like in my case, it was a toxic environment. Um, and I thought things were fine. And I thought I wasn't, you know, I thought it was a lot nicer or not even nicer, but, you know, better than um, a lot of the people that I was with from a moral perspective. But um Again, I never realised it, but I, end, I ended up adopting, you know, a lot of bad traits. And uh, it wasn't even me, and I wasn't even realising I was, I was doing it, you know. The only time I was realising it was when I tried to fit in, or, you know, tried to get a one-up on somebody else. You know, for my ego or something. But, um... Yeah, man. Toxic people is, um... Sticky situation. And, uh... More often times than not, it's, like, acquaintances and friends... Um, if it's family, then that is extremely unfortunate because it's like, especially if you're young, there isn't much that you can do about it unless like something pretty bad happens, like something awful happens. But um, in my case, it was just friends and acquaintances or, you know, quote unquote friends, you know what I mean? My bros and whatever. And uh, it was like that for so many years, man. Um, freaking crazy, like wanting validation from these kind of people wanting to fit in thinking that you know everything that they're doing all the toxic shit that they do is like cool or you know everyone else is doing it and it's just like well this is what we expect don't we because this is sometimes all we see we always well i always saw a lot of the bad shit you know didn't see anything great or the times where there are great things or the stuff that's actually good we don't even realize it until, you know, it's actually gone. <sighs> Crazy shit, man. But it's just like, you know, again, for me, like, what are the first steps I had to take in order to, you know, get rid of these people or just cut them out was um, kind of realizing a lot about myself. Just thinking in the back of my head, like, I could never really fit in with these people. Because even the times when they weren't toxic, like, bro, we had nothing in common. Conversations were dry, they were boring, didn't give a shit about a lot of the stuff that they were interested in. Like, we would, we just weren't compatible in any way, shape or form. And um, it's not even like being acquaintances even. You know, sometimes you're acquaintances by, you know, it's out of your hands who, who your acquaintance is going to be like, you know, people in school or people at your workplace. But if these people are your bros and you're doing it by choice, then it's a bit of an issue because it's just like, well, the only thing you have in common is doing the freaking toxic shit in order to fit in. And anything could be toxic, bro. Just being a prick is one of them. Anything, I don't even need to get too deep into it. But if you're, if, but in my opinion, man, and I think the term friend or, you know, the term, like, your bro or your G is such a loose term nowadays because, especially with me, anyone who I could strike a conversation with and it wasn't bad. I'm not going to say good, but it was a, a bad conversation where it didn't even end up in an argument. I would say that they're my bro or they're my friend. And I'm just thinking, bro, how deluded you were, man. Because at the same time, and this applies to people who are like, who like talk online as well. Like, you know, you make, you think that everyone else in front of you was like, you know, pretty bad or you can't fit in and you're alone, IRL. So you try and, you know, make friends online and all that stuff. Bro, in my opinion, online is even worse, especially from my own personal experience, because you know even less about them. Like, how can you call someone your bro, or even your acquaintance, not acquaintance, but like, how can you call someone your bro if you don't know their age, you don't even know their actual name, you know? A lot of the times it's their username that you know, like freaking you know, Squidward123 or any of this ridiculous shit that you see, man, online <laughs> nowadays. But you get stuff like that, and the worst part is, is that they even change it, like, you know, twice a day. But you don't know the name and you don't even know where they live. Well, yeah, and that's like basic stuff that you that you would find out on the, on the first day. How old they are, where they live and like what they do even. Basic formalities. And 
just, I'm just getting like flashbacks, man, both IRL and online, and it's just ridiculous. Because people at IRL will have some stupid like nicknames that they have for themselves too, man. By the way, for me, like a friend or a bro, in my opinion, and this is what I learned, if you can't truly be yourself around them, and if you're not comfortable, like opening up, and if you try to open up and instead they just, you know, kind of patronize you or they just ignored you or like they never even helped you out or anything or they never even listened you know and then you can't really trust them as much and you have to hide stuff in order to fit in they're not your friends bro they're not your friends and they're not your bros and they're not your g's they're none of that they're just people from a distance and um sometimes it's okay you know most people are like that um but if this is someone that you think is close and they're like toxic, so they're responsible or they're, they're like the cause of a lot of bad shit to happen. Um, and even in their case, like they're just as much of a victim as you are. But it's just like, you know, if the only thing you have in common or the only thing that you're doing together is being toxic, um, you gotta get the heck out of there, man, because before you know it, the damage, like it's either already done and it's mainly done to you, towards yourself without even realizing it or it's going to be done towards some someone or something great you know you just limit yourself and you just freaking stay back in that little rubble and you can't even go anywhere else because sometimes when you find yourself progressing a little bit or going up a level or you know climbing that mountain a little bit higher and you feel and sometimes you feel a bit guilty like you know you're leaving these people behind or something don't listen to that voice man and even if you do cut them out and you still feel guilty Trust me when I say this, a lot of the times, like, you'll see these people coming back into your life. They will try to come back into your life. Not intentionally, but it just, like, happens by chance. I think it's almost like some kind of test or something, but... Happened with me so many times, bro. Like, I would be progressing a little bit. Even something as basic as, like, you know, getting an assignment done. And the next thing you know, these people just come back out of nowhere. You're like, they're trying to get you back into the little group squad or something. They're trying to get you back in when, you know... Once you're actually there and you're present right in front of the face, they don't do shit, bro. They just, you know, you're almost like a non-existent. You're more non-existent than a ghost. But, yeah, I don't want to get too deep into it and don't want to get too much into it because I'm pretty sure a lot of you people know what I'm on about. But, again, just be mindful of the people that you're around. Um, if you can't be yourself again and you can't and it's just not you and you're miserable or something and nothing's really being done in your life, and you're not progressing anywhere. You're kind of just, everything is just the same, the same old routine, same old repetitive BS. Then you need to make a change. You 100% need to make a change, and you, and you need to start cutting people out, cutting them out, especially if they're toxic. You do not need these people, and they do not deserve you at all. Um, because, man, it's only one life, bro, and uh, you don't need to wait behind for anyone. Just got to freaking start grinding ASAP with whatever you want to do you know you don't you don't even need to grind bro but it's just about being feeling free and being and um, you know being happy and staying around these kinds of people man it's not the way bro trust me when I say this like I would rather be alone but progressing somewhere than be stuck back in a toxic environment 100% I would be alone any day of the week than doing any of that shit man it's 100% not worth it um I can elaborate a lot more, trust me, especially with my own experiences. Because you don't understand, like, the shit that I had to go through and the stuff that I learned. You know, it's crazy, man. Especially when you're stabbed in the back. Metaphorically, like, time and time again. I'm pretty sure everyone's gone through it. But when it happens so many times, bro, like, you end up changing. You end up changing so much. And it's just so, like, damaging. But, um, I'll save that for a future video someday. Um... But yeah, man, you know, toxic environments. Um, hopefully you guys can make a change if, if you're in one. Or to that one person who's watching anyways, because, <laughs> again, um, you know, if I have some advice, not even advice, but I have a bit of knowledge or something that I learned, then um, why not put it out there, even if it is one person watching it? I mean, if you got knowledge, share it. You know what I mean? Because especially if you're someone who's like, you know, a couple years younger than me, I mean, you guys could use it the most. 
I mean, I learned it too late, in my opinion, but it is what it is, and um, I'm here now, um, getting shit done. But anyways, that was really it, just a quick little video, thought I would put it out there, you know, um, just be mindful again of the people that you're around, if they're toxic or not, and make a change ASAP if you could resonate or relate with any of the things that I've said.